In the last two decades, research has been dedicated to the study of dogs and their behaviors. In this video, we will explore the science behind dogs, investigating why they tilt their heads while listening and why they are so indecisive, constantly asking to go out and then come back in. One of the most captivating behaviors of dogs is tilting their heads when they are listening. We humans find it adorable, but why do dogs do it? Scientists have finally discovered that tilting the head is a sign that the dog is paying attention. In a new study published in the journal Animal Cognition, researchers analyzed attention knowledge tests and head tilts while dogs listened to humans. They found a strong correlation between head tilting and following complex verbal commands. The results indicate that head tilting is associated with information processing and demonstrates concentration. Interestingly, dogs also have a preference for tilting their heads to one side, just as humans prefer their left or right hand. Additionally, dogs have a preferred paw and even a preferred nostril. For example, most dogs are right-pawed when it comes to grabbing food, going downstairs, or fetching toys. This asymmetrical movement in dogs shows that when your dog looks at you attentively while tilting their head, they are likely absorbing every word. Why are dogs so indecisive, persistently asking to go out and then come back again? If you have a backyard, you have probably wondered why your dog wants to go out and, after a minute, is standing at the door, suddenly wanting to come back. Dogs are curious and want to know what's going on in their territory all the time. In nature, there are no doors constantly blocking their path. Your dog may want to go out to change the environment, go to the bathroom, or check if everything is in order and if there are no intruders in their area. Dogs may also want to come back because they miss you, feel uncomfortable with the weather, or want to see what you are doing. Additionally, dogs can be indecisive animals. They may need to go out to relieve themselves and then want to come back, only to realize they are bored inside the house and wish to return. Remember that if you are not dedicating quality time to your dog, training them, and giving them affection, they may simply be asking to go in and out to have fun and have something to do. Why do dogs cry? Whining is one of the vocal communication forms of dogs. The most common reason your dog may whine is because they need or want something from you, like food or a walk. Perhaps their favorite toy is stuck under the sofa, or they want you to open a door for them. Sometimes, dogs whine simply because they are bored and not getting enough attention. Your dog may want someone to play with or something to keep them occupied. Make sure to provide adequate exercise and mental stimulation for your dog on a daily basis. If your dog is whining and also shows symptoms such as panting or trembling, they may be scared or anxious about something. Maybe they are in an unfamiliar environment or are worried because a family member is absent. Separation anxiety is another reason why dogs may bark or whine when left alone for extended periods. It's important to observe your dog's behavior and identify possible causes of anxiety or fear. Furthermore, whining can indicate that your dog is in pain or experiencing some type of physical discomfort. If they whine every time they try to climb stairs or jump on the couch, it could be a sign of joint pain due to arthritis. However, it's important to remember that most dogs tend not to complain when they are suffering from chronic pain. While a dog may yelp if accidentally stepped on or whine after surgery, dogs experiencing constant pain, such as toothache, rarely express their discomfort vocally. Contrary to human intuition, it's important to consider how to talk to your dog. When communicating with a dog, raising your voice tone and using dog-related words can help capture their attention. A new study shows that when we use a higher pitch while speaking to our dogs, it actually helps them pay more attention. Research published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B shows that speaking to dogs using dog-directed speech elicits more positive responses from them than when we use normal speech. This creates a stronger bond between you and your pet. So, if you often talk to your dog, do it in a similar manner to how you speak to a baby. Studies using magnetic resonance imaging MRI, have shown that dogs understand more about human speech than previously thought. 
they comprehend vocabulary regardless of intonation and also take word choice into account. If you say something negative to a dog in a friendly tone, they will know that something is wrong. Dogs are incredibly attentive animals, and you can observe this when you talk to your dog. They look at you as if they are listening, which is not common in other pets like rabbits or cats. Even monkeys do not typically look at us while we speak. When dogs tilt their heads while we speak, it shows their attentiveness and engagement. Why are dogs afraid of thunder? Many dogs are afraid of thunder because they do not understand what is happening. They hear the loud sound and perceive it as a threat. It is an instinctive reaction to fear loud noises as a survival measure. Interestingly, some studies suggest that dogs experience an unpleasant tingling sensation due to the static electricity generated during storms. Storms charge the air with electricity, which can cause a buildup of static electricity in their fur. This uncomfortable tingling sensation can make dogs restless and run around the house in search of shelter. When your dog approaches you and nuzzles their nose against you while you are sitting on the couch watching TV, it is their way of seeking your attention. Dogs often touch their nose or face to people when they desire interaction and companionship. They may want affection or simply want to spend time close to you. It is a way of showing affection and love. Dogs' barks can vary in tones, ranging from deep to high-pitched. High-pitched barks often indicate suspicion, aggression, or caution. On the other hand, higher-pitched barks are frequently associated with playfulness, excitement, or anxiety. It's important to observe the dog's body language alongside the barking to understand its meaning. Playful barks are accompanied by a relaxed and happy body posture. If you notice your dog pressing their head against the wall or another solid object, it may indicate the need for immediate attention. Head pressing is a warning sign of potential serious issues such as poisoning or nervous system damage. In such cases, it is crucial to schedule an appointment with a veterinarian immediately for proper evaluation and treatment. Now that you have learned more about dog behavior, we want to hear your opinion. Share your own experiences in the comments section below. Your accounts of dogs being indecisive and persistently asking to go in and out are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and information about dogs.